Well, cadaver dogs, highly trained canines that can help law enforcement agencies track down a clue or even close a case. They can also help provide closure to a family that's missing a loved one. Just recently, we told you about a private investigator who says his two cadaver dogs got a hit on a location in the camping site where Dior Coons Jr. was last seen in Lemhi County, which got us thinking, how are cadaver dogs trained to sniff out human remains as opposed to animal remains? Joey Prechtel spent the day working with a cadaver dog handler and has that answer for us. Well, Brian, Paula Cudd owns and runs Precision Canine Training here in Boise, but she's also a cadaver dog handler and has been for about 20 years now. She's assisted law enforcement on numerous investigations throughout her career. And now when it comes to human and animal remains, she says everything goes back to how that dog was trained. Paula Cutt has an interesting hobby to say the least. Probably been working with cadaver dogs about 15. This is her dog. Guard! This is Ziva. She's a 10-year-old German Shepherd. She's certified by the North American Police Work Dog Association as a cadaver dog, meaning she can sniff out human remains. Blood, a few bones, um, a full body, yeah. The training is similar to drug dogs. So they learn that odor equals reward. And Ziva has learned that over her nearly 10 year career. She's at that veteran stage where you, it's kind of smooth sailing now. Back when she was getting started, part of the training process was ignoring the smell of animal remains and only alerting to human remains. That would be considered a distraction. So we train with maybe dead animals in there or food, you know, and the dog must ignore all but the target odor. Ziva went through a mock training to show off her ability. And she's ready. Yeah. Search. Cadaver dogs are trained to alert their handler when they got a hit. She will tell me it's there. And that leads to an award. Good job. Good job. Yeah. When it comes to training, though, the handler has to have some sort of human remains to establish the scent. So you may be thinking, where do you get that? So one of the easiest training aids to get is placenta because it's, you know, it's blood and tissue. And so a lot of times we'll start with that. In this instance, we used an old hip bone. Search. Which she alerted to not once. Search. Not twice. Good girl. But three times in three different areas. Woo, good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. <laughs> All this training is aimed to help law enforcement. Yeah. yeah. Close a case. But you train, you know, and if you can help someone find closure, you can help an investigation. It's pretty exciting. Now I did ask Paula today just how many cases she's assisted on throughout the years and just how many cases that she thinks that her cadaver dog Ziva that, that you saw there and her previous cadaver dog has actually closed. She told me that she's actually lost count, Brian. She's assisted really? on so many. And when it came down to just how many cases she's helped close, she didn't have an exact number on that either, but she has said that her dogs have helped law enforcement quite a bit throughout their careers. Well, one thing is for sure, that dog has tremendous abilities. Thanks, Joey.